Creative Studies Annual Student Exhibition opening in 2017. So you can see that she definitely does have the talent. So without any further ado, I would like to call very talented Sister Hawa Rahman. to almost everyone on this planet. I was just wondering if you remember the first time you cried. The first time you wailed in the middle of the night. Do you remember the first time you opened your eyes? Do you remember the moment you took your first breath of life? I sure don't. But I know some people who might. Who else? Our mothers. SubhanAllah, Allah is perfect. For those of us too young to understand, for those of us who give all mothers out there just a little bit more of a hard time, inshallah, God willing, I hope this is a wake-up call. This kind of unconditional care is so beautiful and incomparable. Sometimes I think it's irrational, illogical, it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. For nine complete months of our existence, do you know any other person who has been there in your life, sacrificing their entire being, their whole body, just to feed you, literally carrying you around everywhere they go, no matter how much you weigh them down, no matter how many organs you juggle around in there. Everything that they do in those nine months are just for you. Can you name a single person who has done that much for you in a single day? You stretched your mother's body so far that it will never go back to the way it was before. You sometimes gave her insecurities that she may never recover from. And because she knows that this is what it takes, that this is what she has to sacrifice to hold you in her arms, she withstands it. I recently had the chance to witness childbirth in person. Shukr alhamdulillah, all thanks and praise be to Allah. I don't remember a time where my heart could have been more touched. Do you know how scary it is? Sitting on a hospital bed, feeling the pain of contracting muscles, having to take some of the strongest doses of medicine to keep the pressure at bay. Sometimes having that medicine stop working in the middle of the process. This woman, she cries, she worries, she prays, hoping she'll hold her baby in her arms and wondering whether she should, if it comes down to it, tell someone to save the baby over her own self. Imagine making that decision. Would you choose your mother over your own self if it came down to it? Astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive us. Do you know how long it takes? Yet how quick it goes how much a mother has to work to bring you into this world, how long she has to push you until you set yourself free. And if she's not pushing, she's being torn open for you, covered in scars and stitches, blood and fallen tears, filled with worries and fear, all for you. Barakallahu fiha, may Allah bless her. And when we come out, all we do is literally suck the energy out of her with all that pooping and crying, with all that gratefulness and whining. She still loves you. And in this day and age, a mother has to do much more than just stay at home and cuddle you in her arms. She wants to fawn over you. She wants to use what Allah gave her and feed you, to relish in you, this precious gift from the heavens that she received, to do everything for you and more. But sometimes she has to work. She is sometimes the breadwinner as well as the housekeeper. She has to spread herself paper thin to reach all of your needs. She wants to see you, but she has to leave you at home or in daycare all alone. And she feels guilty for it. Don't feel guilty. And I know our mothers would never stand up here and lecture about how hard it was for her because she knows we're worth it. And I know people say you only get it when you go through the process of having a child for yourself. I just wish sometimes we didn't need to feel the pain to understand what she goes through. Ya Allah guide us. Rabbi rahmuma kama rabbayani sulim. Rabbi rahmuma kama 